Joaquin, over here to the left. To the left. Okay. Right over here. First of all, congratulations. Amazing performance. I know there was pressure on you from that last uh, highlight legendary knockout. Also, your teammate, Chaos Williams, coming in. Right. So the pressure level is amazing. I know you're over there at Mercy Lago. You got Chaos. You got Curran Jacobs happening, training you uh, with grappling. He's amazing. What kind of stuff did they tell you? What was your game plan going into this? Uh, the game plan was just be me, you know what I mean, and fight with my style, but just control aggression, you know, instead of just moving too fast. Just keep the power, you know, directed towards him. You know, no wild punches, you know, like I did with Kevin Holland. You know, just keep it directed straight towards uh, Jordan Wright. So controlled aggression, that's it. How important was it to you that you got the KO? Uh, I mean, that's just what I always look for. That's just the end all goal is just to get the knockout, get the finish. That's what people want. So, you know, I did what I needed to do. Absolutely. And uh, you and Chaos kind of got a little competition going now every time you jump in. Man, tell me about <laughs> it, man. But he got me beat, man. He got 30 seconds, man, with a straight right hand. Man, that's beautiful. Absolutely. Now, are you ready if someone wants to grapple with you? Curran Jacobs is an amazing uh, wrestler there. What kind of stuff are you learning uh, that you didn't know before, and how prepared are you for uh, a grappler? Uh, we learned a lot. You know what I mean? I'm not going to tell everybody what we learned, but you know, we learned a lot there. So we'd be prepared for anybody. Fantastic. Definitely yeah, when it comes to that grappling. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Well, congratulations again. You look great. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's up, man? I, I know you don't want to say his name with James Krause stuff, yeah. but can you at least give us your perspective of what his problem is with you? Because he says you're a bad gym partner. You tried to reach out to him. What's your version of events? Uh, I mean, it's just the mentality where I come from. A lot of people hate on each other. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't want to see another person rise up and be successful if they can't be put in that position themselves. So, you know, I think that's, you know, just hatred, just envy, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, whatever he said about me, he could have proved that day, you know, for me to come in and spar with him type stuff. But, you know, he wasn't willing to do that, you know, and uh, he just wanted to keep a brother down. But luckily, you know, Joaquin Marshall Lago, they reached out and I had to go to a whole nother place just to get some love. And they don't complain about me and my sparring at all, you know? So in your, in your mind, just to put it to bed, you don't think you train like an arsehole or you don't, you don't think you... No, I don't. You know, you're going to ask chaos. You're going to ask anybody from Michigan and they'll tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, James Krause did actually put a thing out on Instagram. He put a picture of himself and he was like, oh, say my name. Um, is that the fight you want next? Does it make sense for you? <clears throat> it definitely makes sense for me, for sure. You know what I mean? Um, but at the end of the day, man, I'm not going to say your name. There's no need to, you know? When uh, you, you said January 23rd, the, the Connor fight in, in Abu Dhabi, is that even if he's not available, is that when you want to fight? That'd be dope, yeah, as soon as possible, ASAP. Congratulations. Thank you. Jo Joaquin over here. How much street cred have you got since you've been a sensation? I got people in the boxing game asking me, is that guy for real? Is he you that know, guy? I'm about to say what you mean by street cred, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm getting a lot of love right now, you know, and a lot of people do want to work with me right now, so that's the cool part, you know, so, yeah. <clears throat> Any big names outside of MMA, just like in combat sports in general? Uh, no, nah, I mean, I'm going to just keep it under wraps, man. Y'all going to see when I be posting on Instagram who I'm working with, you know? So y'all just got to stay tuned and just look on Instagram. How, I'm, how cool is it to be bringing a flavor that people don't see in MMA to be bringing that front and center? Because the, the keep up with Joaquin, you got to uh, acknowledge that. How cool is that to be that guy to kind of be like a trailblazer? Uh, to... You say it again. To, to bring flavor to the MMA that we don't usually see. Oh, bring a flavor. I mean, it's cool, man. I got my flavor from Mike Tyson, man. I try to keep that mentality all the time, you know. And definitely chaos. Come on, man. I get that. Try to get that uh, flavor from him, man. You know what I mean? Go out there with this that aggression and that, that killer mentality. You know what I mean? Just go for that finish at all times. Yeah. And just give some insights to, to living up to that standard that you set. Is that the standard from, from now on to live up to that KO knockout? Or is just something that just happened moment nah, in time man, and you the, moved on? No, nah, man. It's just a killer instinct, man. I want to get the finish at all times, period. Yeah. And what do you want to do in 2021? How many fights you want? And do you think you're going to be in that top 10? Is that an ultimate goal for next year? Or are you just going to take it as it comes? We're going to take it as it comes, man. That's it. We're going to take it as it comes. Walking right here. Uh, James Krause usually fights at welterweight. Would you go down or would you want him? Stop playing. Stop playing, bro. He said he wanted to fight at 185. He fought his last fight at 185. Let's do it at 185. Fair. Don't, don't, don't make it easy on him. 185. And then in, in this fight specifically, you heard him pretty bad at the end of round one. Were you surprised he came out to start round two? Uh, no, no, no. I ain't surprised. I mean, he was mentally strong. He was mentally uh, confident and prepared to go to war with me. You know what I mean? I'm surprised he even walked in the cage. Like, you know, so since he, you know, was able to do that, I knew he was ready. You know, uh, when I had hurt him, uh, just at the last seconds of that first round, I showed mercy. I was just going to stop, whatever, because I just thought he was going to quit right there and hurt Dean was going to save him. But, uh, you know, he tried to go for that little takedown. You know, I ain't no ninjas, new wrestling. But at the end of the day, though, you know, we got it done in the second round. 
Yeah, I, I was going to ask a similar question to that because um, I was watching him in the corner, you know what I'm saying, between rounds, and I was like, man, he's, he looks broken, you know what I mean? And Joe Rogan said as much, you know, on the broadcast, and I thought, what was your perspective when you came out in that second round? Did you look across and just see a broken man in, in your cross? Oh, he wasn't broken. He was ready. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He came out in the second round and He's he was ready. Kid. He is a tough kid. And I, I, like I said, uh, somebody asked me, what do I respect about that? That was just that confidence, you know what I mean? But I was willing to break that confidence, you know what I'm saying, with that finish in the second round. So nothing but respect for my man. Nothing but respect. Joaquin, how do you rate this performance, and uh, what are the better things you did tonight, and what are the things that you don't feel you maybe did as well? Uh, don't allow people to get in my head. Don't allow people to get in my head. That's it. You know what I mean? Other than that, I'm killing everybody. Gotcha. Yeah. Did this guy bring what you expected, or was it a little different than how you thought it would go down? Uh, like I said, it was a little different because I wanted to get him out in the first round, but it is what it is. You know, I'm still victorious, so what does it matter? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Joaquin, how, how relieved are you to get this fight over after getting kind of some of the distractions that you've had to go through, mm -hmm. good distractions from mm -hmm. your last fight? Do you feel relieved right now? Because you seem like you could still go. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm still hyped. Like I told you, like for that next person, man, like I, I really want to hurt this man. Like not even like to be funny. Like, I really want to hurt this man. And like ain't no referee going to be able to save him when I get in there. So it's going to be some problems. But uh, uh, it, it is what it is, man. I, I'm still hyped to get this fight, whatever it is that they might give me uh, January 23rd if they do allow me to fight. But, you know, I'm relieved just to get the win. Facts. Joaquin, you mentioned Mike Tyson is kind of the style you bring. Any predictions on Tyson versus Roy Jones? Any predictions? I don't think the fight going to happen. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. I believe if Mike goes out there and does what he does, of course, you know, Roy going to be in trouble. You know, but I don't think that fight going to happen. Interesting. Why I ain't gonna not? Lie. Huh? Why not, if I could ask? We'll see. You got some questions. Uh, some yeah, we'll see. Got you. Thank you. What about the smoke? You ain't got no questions, man? Come on, man. What kind of inside information do you have on this Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. fight not happening? You said what kind of inside information you said, do I have? You said it's not going to happen. I mean, I'm, you know, if I'm a gambling man, a betting man myself, I just don't think it's going to happen, you know? You trying to put some money on it, smoke? No, it's just a week from now. <laughs> <It's getting laughs> close. I know it's just a week from now, but we'll see. We'll see if it happens. Congrats on the victory. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> see you soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs>